everyone, this is Kelly Petros, team leader with Us One Books and More, and today we're going to take a look at How Things Grow, my first reference book. So, this is a book that is great for kids, three to about eight, maybe nine and ten, um, that are really interested in learning about how things grow. So, it'll answer how do peanuts grow, where do seeds come from, which flowers bloom in the, sp bloom in the spring, and find out in this charming book, and it has some puzzles and quizzes at the end. So let's take a look inside. So at the front, we have our table of contents, which will show you what all they're going to learn about in our book of how things grow. And you can see the illustrations are just wonderful. They're going to captivate their attention. So on the first page, we're going to talk about things that grow and where they grow around us and how we can grow them. Herbs are plants that you can eat. Talks about seeds. Some plants grow by themselves. Then we have our tomato plant. There are thousands of different kinds of plants. Nearly all have green leaves. How many kinds can you see in this picture? So it's also going to ask them to interact with the book, which is great. Talk about different plants. Here it's going to talk about some plant parts, the root, the stem, what the leaves do. Then we're going to move into types of seeds. How seeds grow, spreading of seeds, sometimes the wind carries them, sometimes animals carry them. Alright, from seed to a flower. So, this is even useful if your child's 9 or 10, because I know my child just finished the seed process and how it grows to be a plant, so this would have been helpful for her. Alright, then we're going to talk about flowers. There's lots of flowers. Nearly half a million different kinds of flowers. Then the seasons, how they change with the seasons, and how our animals sometimes change. You can even talk about that with the book. So, then we move into growing food. And as you can see, the text is large, so they'll have an easy time reading it. We're going to talk about fruits and nuts. And then at the end, it has a naming game. Can you name the flowers? Can you name the trees? And then you can even go back and see if you can spot these things in the book. And then, just so you can be sure, it gives you where the answers are. So you as a parent can check your child. Then we have a glossary at the back. So we can make sure we know the definitions. And as with all of our reference books, there's an index on the back. So if you're studying something in particular, where it's garlic, geranium, grapes, or grass, you can go exactly to the page you need to in our book. Then it also is going to give you some quick links that you can use to help find other keywords. So this is our look at how things grow.